Anyway, oh, before we continue, talking about fashion, I got some new shoes. I got some new shoes. It's been a long time since I bought some new shoes. The last shoes that I bought a, a while ago were these. I'm quick over and get them. These Mars Yards, right? Tom Sachs Mars Yards. The last shoes I've got. Let me get this image out of the way. These last shoes that I got, right? Last ones. I've loved them. They're amazing. I've written them. I've written them on the side, like everyone else has. You know, I beat them up. I put them in a wash recently, and um, they didn't come out that great. But hey, uh, they didn't really get that clean, to be honest. But I absolutely love these. I wear them all the bloody time. They're probably one of my favorite shoes, and I can't wait because they've got a mid coming out, haven't they? I think they've got like a mid um, model coming out that's sort of like black and white. So I can't wait for those to come out very, very soon. But I love these shoes, right? But I've been beating them up so much and I kind of wanted a, a pair of shoes that I can wear, especially with Primavera. I kind of always like to have a pair of new shoes, right? Um, you know, it's a festival, man. Why not? Let's go crazy. So I've got a pair of new shoes for the festival and I've been, I've, I've had my eye on these shoes for such a long time, right? I've been wearing them for ages, but I just couldn't uh, pull the trigger. Then, then just before they released the, for the second time, I went on StockX and I kind of, StockX is one of the best websites, right? I highly recommend you check it out. StockX.com. Great website. It's sort of like, what Flight Club promised to be, but even better, right? Flight Club was this consignment store where people would go and sell and resell their sort of like hype uh, pieces of clo uh, pieces of footwear for the most part. So when the whole like tier zero and limited edition shoes were kind of dropping all over the place, it was a good place to get your shoes, but they were quite overpriced because everyone was looking to get the biggest markup possible they wanted on it. And especially with eBay uh, being as unpredictable as it is, sometimes people pay, sometimes people, people don't, sometimes people pay for something then they open a dispute on paypal you can get a bit uh dubious but StockX is a great site because they kind of aggregate the prices of of uh of shoes based on the kind of market value people list them on there and you can kind of give them an offer um so it kind of reminds me a little bit of how we used to do it on the forums right um sometimes people do it as well on, on facebook groups so you can kind of make an offer on a particular shoe or someone can say if you want to you, you can make an offer on a box logo hoodie like you know he's open to offers or whoever, whoever ha offers the most highest or the amount that the person's willing to let that thing go for you kind of buy and on StockX, you can also track the prices of things depending on whether or not they get re-released or retro right and plus some shoes they get re-released a few times like i don't know like let's for instance uh, jordan cement freeze right they're coming out again soon so if you track jordan cement free especially the 2014 model you can maybe get them for a little bit cheaper when because when they when they re-release again the original ones might go down a bit because they'll be a little bit more they'll be more available in the market and then as soon as they sell out um from the stores and generally they kind of swap hands the prices kind of increase again so you kind of have to be really really precise and you kind of really have to watch the market and kind of like put your bid in quickly so with these shoes i tracked the prices of them i saw that they're re-releasing again on, on the on loads of sites again and i was able to snag them for just above retail um so they came up to about 350 uh, altogether and they got released and they got and they arrived to me in about a week uh from the us and if you're wondering the pair i got i got the wave runner 700s yay i'm so happy with them as you can see i've already beat them up and worn them over a period of a week uh but i don't really mind you know i like wearing my shoes i don't, I don't really like take i'm not really big on uh being overly pressured with my trainers but i'm so happy with these shoes man I've, I've loved them ever since the first time i saw uh kanye wearing them and i saw the kind of initial kind of first prototype images of them i thought they were absolutely amazing if anything they're probably the epitome of what a dad shoe is probably meant to look like for me they're extremely light they're very very comfortable uh super chunky um they have a um, really really wide forefoot that really helps my feet because i tend to my feet are quite big i've got like a uk 10 us 11 sometimes us 11.5 but for the most part my toes are what really um uh, hinder me fitting into most shoes because especially if you're looking at air maxes or air force not air force air maxes for the most part and converse and vans they're very pointy right at the front so sometimes my feet can get a bit scrunched up so these really help they're really really flat at the front i love the idea that they kind of really flat at the front here as well the kind of um fourth the kind of the front of the toe box because i remember the issue that i had a lot with the nike retros from the years gone by is that they've always had this weird banana foot thing they kind of always point up i never understood why because when you look at images of retro shoes from the 90s especially catalog images they always have this very amazing flat kind of silhouette at the front i love that they're really color heavy at the front right they've got a lot of color blocking right here at the front and kind of less at the back sort of like a bit more tonal but in here you have black green blue and gray whereas here you just have like two colors for the most part you know gray and black i love the laces the sort of neon laces and and just the whole overall lack of branding i think Kanye's done an amazing job 
of just having no obvious bits of branding. There's no, like, even if you look on the outside, there's no, like, free dots anywhere. Like, you would think if this is an Adidas shoe that they produced, they'd have, like, three dots to kind of symbolize the three stripes. There's two, there's two, there's about four dots here, but there's no three stripes anywhere until you look inside. You've got, like, the kind of Adidas logo in there, right? And then you've got the Adidas logo on the, on the bottom of the shoe, and you've got the Yeezy sign just inside the, the tag in here that you can't really make out, but absolutely love these. Um, so Yeezy Wave Runner 700s, one of my favorite shoes. I'll probably end up doubling up on these again, uh, just because I know I'm going to wear them at, wear them in. They're probably the same rate that I'm going to wear these in. And I just think shoes look better anyway once you wore them in. So I'm really, really happy with, with both shoes. But this is a shoe that I've been wanting for a long, long, long time. So I'm super, 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 super happy that I've got these for the, for the moment. And yeah, I'm going to wear these for Primavera, man. Like the best shoes ever. Really, really comfortable. And yeah, man, like... Ugh. For, say what you like about Kanye and his, um, you know, his media outbursts or whatever, but he knows how to make great shoes, I think, for the most part. These, the 350s, um, the kind of, uh, the Desert Rats that are out too, I really, really look, absolutely like, actually, I like, let me just show you those, actually, those are absolutely sick, right? They've got these Desert Rats that I really want to get a pair of. They look amazing. I think they were in stock for a while. I'm not sure if they're out of stock again, but let's see if they're in stock. Yeah, they're still in stock, right? So hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, the Desert Rats. What's they, what are they called? Uh, the thick desert boot, right? So they're not called desert, they're called just desert boot. These are really, really nice. I really like these. Um, and they've got another color too that I want in brown. I think they still, still got those. Yeah, they still got these in brown too. Did they have them in my size still? Nah, no in my size on here. But they might have the blacks in my size. So I probably might get these very, very soon. I don't have my size either. But yeah, I'm a 45 if anyone is asking. So these are my favorite shoes right now. Absolutely love these as well. And other, again, no, hardly any branding on them, right? Very, very minimal, but this is the perfect, perfect, perfect boot. He's really kind of honed that sort of like army boot style that he was wearing for a while. So um, yeah, these are great shoes. Cannot wait to get another pair.